Good evening. I'm Erin Kiernan. Thanks for being with us this Friday. It is back to work for lawmakers on Monday. They have a big to do list to work on this session. WHO 13 Capitol Bureau reporter Zach Fisher joins us live from the State House. So Zach, in the earlier shows you were talking about uh, things like abortion and taxes. What's another thing that lawmakers are going to be focusing on? Yeah, Aaron, and speaking with both leaders from the Republican and Democratic Party, as you mentioned, those two were huge topics of conversation. But what's going to be the biggest driver this session is school choice. We talked a lot about that today, and I'm told by the Senate Majority Leader that the governor is once again leading the charge, writing her own school choice bill that's set to be introduced next week. Now, if you remember back to last year, the private school voucher bill failed to be even debated on the floor of the House after being passed through the Senate. Governor Reynolds will take a swing at it again this year. Now, Republicans say that this type of legislation stemmed from COVID lockdowns in public schools. Democrats explain what they're hearing so far about the supposed bill. It really opened the eyes to a lot of parents and parents started to get more involved in their kids' education, which is great. That's what we want is parental involvement. Um, but also when that happens, they start to see things that maybe they don't like or they have concerns about, or maybe they say, you know what, this isn't fitting our family the best way possible. We want different options. Has proposed that there are no income limits on school vouchers. That We haven't seen the proposal yet, but that's what we're hearing, which means if there are no income limits on these school vouchers, which take money, public money, and put it into private schools, that means that, you know, a millionaire family from Des Moines can send their kid to private school on the taxpayer dime while schools in rural Iowa are crumbling because the money has been taken away. Now, what Leader Conference was explaining there, the bill last year had a limit of four times above the poverty level to apply for one of these supposed scholarships, private school vouchers that would be capped there. But so far, what the Democrats are hearing from the Republican side is that there may not be a limit to how much income a household is making. So basically open to everyone in the state. Now, that's just what the Democrats are hearing right now. There's not a bill. So we'll see what happens uh, when the session starts next Monday. Aaron. OK, we know you'll be there. Thanks, Zach.